out. Hey, walking and licking my drip, licking my wrist. Hey, P got me sick. You could go blind, stop staring at it. I'm killing these beats. Someone get a make it. I'm with two baddies, they lit just like Megan. That mean. I'm Hey y'all, it's Tiana Chanel. I don't do that intro, but yeah, I'm just gonna get right into it. So the first trick of having a great install is getting all them edges back. Get them baby hairs back, get them edges back, all that back and just blow dry it. I use the got to be gel, the black, that's in the black tube and it just get the job done. And if y'all see how I put my cap on, I low key put my cap behind my edges like i don't try to get all the way in front of my hairline if that makes sense i just try to get in front of like the bulk of the hair so basically where the braids start and y'all see why because when you have a hd lace if you don't pull the cap down far enough which i don't pull the cap all the way over my eyes the cap will peep through the lace if that makes sense so you'll be able to see the cap through the lace and all i want is skin right there because it'll melt right into the skin so basically that's why i do my cap kind of far back behind my actual like hairline if that makes sense i'm just taking alcohol right now just to clean off the area where the glue is going to be placed it just helps the install last longer because there's no oils or nothing right there so i just do that blow dry that until it dries up and now i'm taking the hair by erica j watermelon lace glue and i'm just using that putting dots on it to hold the cap down now when you rub it or smear it in basically you want to do that with a very light hand you don't want to really like mush it into the um cap like it'll stick because when you do that it'll leave like right white residue and it won't clear all the way but even if you do accidentally do that you can fix it by putting like a little bit of alcohol on the q-tip and just rubbing that spot but then you want to hit it again with some more glue after because you don't want it to not have any glue down there that made sense so i'm just going in between the spots that didn't really spread enough which was basically everywhere <laughs> and yeah just going back so it can all connect Now I'm just blow drying it until it turns clear. Sometimes this takes like up to like th literally three minutes for me. I'm not gonna lie. Sometimes I just blow dry it for 30 seconds and start doing other stuff. Look in the mirror, it's clear. So don't just think if it's not turned clear instantly you did something wrong. Like it's gonna get there. <laughs> but as y'all can see when I'm cutting it, like once I cut the, um, the cap, you'll see how like some of my edges are still a little bit in front of the line of the cap. So that's what I meant by that. Not too much, y'all. Not too much. But y'all see what I'm talking about. Now, I'm just putting on the wig so I can cut it according to, like, my hairline. So, that's why I like cutting on my um, own head so I can cut it based off of my hairline. And I feel like it just makes it... A, like a better install more flawless neat natural all that good stuff so i use scissors i don't use a razor because i had a terrible um y'all know <laughs> so i don't use a razor no more but um yeah i'm kind of going zigzag a little bit but right after this you'll see me take it back off and that's when i tint it i like to tint the lace after because i like to see what I'm doing I feel like it's better to see it when it's not like blended into my skin so yep
this is the my least favorite part literally is the ear tabs i don't know what but y'all y'all see me throughout this video struggle so much trying to cut the freaking ear tabs i don't know why this side was so hard because i did the other side with ease but i just want to add this in there i'm not going to like cut any part any of this part out so i can see how sometimes you just gotta work with it like it's not just gonna come you know what I'm saying? You got to work for it sometimes. I think a lot of people just give up on their installs because it's just not hitting right. Something's not going. And it's just like, no, you just got to keep on trying to get it right. So, yeah. I'll even go back. Even when I stop, I'm going to go back later in the video and fix it because it still wasn't right. But the ear tab is very important because if you push the wig up how you want it or you push it too far up and you don't realize that your ear is going to be bent and you cut too much lace... It's just like a lot that can go on with that. I don't even know if that made sense what I just said. But yeah. I just pushed the wig up into as far as it can go without my ear being bent. And then I cut the ear tabs. I don't like my wigs all on my forehead. But this was a tight wig. So I was trying my best to push it up as far as possible. But you see how easy that side was? I don't know. But yeah. I'm just marking my face with um, some eyeliner or a lip liner, whatever it is. I used to not do this, but I do it now because I don't like when I put glue where the lace isn't because then it just gets stuck in the, like, the baby hairs and it just makes it so much harder, in my opinion. So now I just mark it with some eyeliner just so I won't have to go through all that. But yeah, I'm doing the dots. I'm spreading it out. I did two layers. This is the first. After this, I'm going to blow dry it. And I'm going to repeat those two steps on this side. get to the last part that you blow dry you don't want to um do it until it's all the way clear like you still want to see some white to know that it's tacky but then you want to be gentle with putting the lace on that or pushing it in there because if you're too harsh it'll just cake up the glue does that make sense so yeah you just want to do it with a light touch and then once the glue is clear all the way then that's when you want to go in Harder. So I'm blow drying it again just so it can all just melt. Y'all see the ears have still messed up, but I'll fix it. Tell me doing the other side. I don't really know why, but I guess since you already seen on this side, it doesn't really matter. So yeah, after I do that, I clean off the eyeliner and this part I'm just separating my edges. I hot combed. The, the part and like the front back that's why it looks more sleek but yeah i'm just using the elastic band and i kept that on for like 10 15 minutes until it felt like my ear is gonna come off i blow dried it one more time and yeah this is me taking it off after like 15 minutes but as y'all can see i still got a little bit of glue in front but i take that off and i clean it up with some alcohol Oh,
So now I'm just cutting the baby hair. You want to do it pretty short, but not too short. I don't know. Um, too long is just too much. But just start off at like a modest length. And if it's too long still, cut it after you already like swoop it. And you'll see on this because I left a lot of the edge part in this video because I feel like the edges is really where you go wrong it's like you can have a great install like the wig can be melted but if you don't know how to do your edges right it's still going to very much give very it's going to still give hot mess it's still going to give wig it's going to give halloween costume that and plucking some people don't like to plug to each his own but i just like when you pluck it the less it look like party city you know what i'm saying because like you can tell when a wig is a wig unless tay did it but yeah, just have it look like a natural wig. You know what I'm saying? You don't want party city. You don't want to spend two hundred dollars on a wig for it to look like you bought that for twenty. You know what I'm saying? Just try to do the baby hair. It's good. But yeah, I'm just using foam, and I use the hold swoop method. And yeah, I'm just gonna let y'all watch me do my baby hair because there's not too much else I can explain. But y'all see me going and cutting it when I need to and all that.
Hey y'all, we're in the bathroom and uh, um, ouch. Just cut my ear, that shit hurt. I'm about to cut my hair. As the video is coming to an end, I want y'all to check that link in the description. Y'all see how pretty the hair is from the back, so thick, all that. But I want y'all to check the link in the description for the hair. This hair was actually really good quality, and it was a HD lace. So any hair or any wig I get with an HD lace, I'm automatically going to recommend, especially if the hair is good too.